Okay, so the next question again is going to involve this graph that we saw in the previous problem. And it says, which of the following represents the relationship between H and C? So again, I've labeled some points on here. You could always start substituting in values, right? The first coordinate represents H. The second coordinate represents C. So again, the number of hours rented, comma, the total cost involved. So there's two ways to do this. Um, I mean, if you wanted to, the way I would think about it is just think about it like in terms of y equals mx plus b. Right? This is slope-intercept form. Slope-intercept. Well, instead of y, the vertical axis is labeled as capital C. Instead of the variable x, you know, our x-axis is replaced by this variable h, the number of hours. But again, the same thing. M still represents the slope. B still represents the, you know, the, normally we call it the y-intercept, but in this case it would be the c-intercept. Okay, well the c-intercept had a value of 5. It's going through the point 0, 5. So I know that the plus b is going to be replaced with plus 5. Well, what's the slope? That's the rise over the run. So how much do you go up and how much do you go over to get to the next point? Well, if we go from 1, 8 up to 2, 11, I'm going up 1, 2, 3 units. I'm going over 1 unit. Again, my, my scale is definitely off here. But you could do slope, change in, again, change in y over change in x, or in this case it would be change in C over change in H. But let's think about it as before. You, you do the difference of the second coordinates over the difference of the first coordinates. So you would have 11 minus 8. So I'm doing 11 minus 8 over 2 minus 1. That's going to give you 3 over 1 or 3. So that's going to be the slope. So the formula here would be C equals 3H plus 5, which would also be answer choice C. And again, once you had a couple points on here, you could always start substituting these in. You know, for example, uh, we know that 2 comma 11 is on there. If we substitute in 2 for H in answer choice A, we would have 5 times 2, which is 10. But we should be getting the value of 11, so we know answer choice A is not correct. You could go through and do elimination and get rid of B and D as well by doing that. But again, you're just doing the slope-intercept method, you know, finding the equation of a line. It's just switching out again. Instead of X and Y, you've got H and C is all your, you know, the only kind of difference here.